Hello everybody! Welcome to another Vaughn video. Today I'm gonna be showing you why the root chest piece, I'm talking just the chest piece, is the single best piece of equipment in all of Valheim. This piece of armor is so good that it remains viable until you get to the Mistlands. That is intense because you get this in the swamp. I'm not even gonna get into the set bonus. I'm not even talking about that. I'm only talking about the chest piece, the root harness, what you can make with level two workbench and 10 root, 10 ancient bark, and two deer hide. That means you gotta down two abominations or kite them to something else like a troll and have him down them. Just to illustrate how strong this armor is, I'll walk around in the swamp naked, just with this armor, and I have some basic food for this level. Queen's jam, deer stew, and turnip stew, right? Good food, but definitely not the best. Now, the root armor at first glance, it doesn't look like anything special. You look at the chest piece, it only gives you eight armor at level one. It's 10 weight. This little line here, damage modifier, resistant versus pierce, has profound implications because so much high sudden damage in Valheim is pierce damage. That's why this chest item is so good, even multiple biomes after you get it. Starting with the swamp, you'll often find that you end up getting ganked because let's say you're near a spawner of Draugr, and you go up, you kill them, and then suddenly there's a one-star archer. They'll one-shot you in a lot of cases. But now, let's see how this two-star archer hits me, right? There's a regular skeleton archer, pretty typical in the swamp, so he's gonna shoot me does nothing, right? We're talking like one or two damage. Now let's see how hard this two-star Archer Draugr hits me, because he's really gonna hurt. Oh. Did you see that? I only took half health. That's just this root armor. All this being said, while the root armor is very powerful, it isn't powerful in the mountains. So it's not gonna be very useful to you here. The main reason this armor isn't useful in the mountains is just because there's no pierce damage in the mountains. The only creature that's even capable of doing pierce damage is the boss of mountains. The biome that the root armor truly shines in is the plains, because the plains has so, so much pierce damage. <laughs> the most notorious enemy of all, which is bound to kill you many times, the Deathskeeto itself is pierce damage. And look at this, I have 81 health, my food is expiring, and I'm gonna take a face hit. Boom. I could take two hits from this Deathskeeto with basic Black Forest Swampish level food, two stamina foods, and survive. Look at that, I survived again. This is just with the level one root armor. It's so powerful. Another monster that will damage you a lot is the ranged goblins. You'll find that it's easier to keep track of the melee goblins because they can't attack you from far away, but while you're fighting one thing, a ranged goblin often gets an attack off and kills you. But with the root harness, they become just like skeleton archers. What's even crazier about this armor is it's actually even useful in the Mistlands. Three biomes after you get the armor. The main reason the root armor is useful in the Mistlands is because of ticks. There's many enemies in the Mistlands that you'll get killed by, and some of them actually do do pierce damage, such as Seekers. However, really, it's the ticks. If you haven't had the pleasure of meeting one of these ticks, they are nasty. I mean, look at this. If you hadn't had the pleasure of meeting the ticks from the Mistlands before, <laughs> oh. These things do really heavy damage because they latch onto you. Here's the main reason the, the root chest is still useful in the Mistlands. It's because of these tick guys here. See, they hop around and then they latch onto you and they just keep going. And look at this, I can take one and I have some of the best food items in the game and it just keeps going, and look at that. It did like 130 damage, okay? That was with the pierce resistance from the root armor. Now I've removed the root armor, and let's see what the tick does. He jumps me, and then, oh god, look at that damage! 
<laughs> I had all the health food, and he just killed me. You see how much damage they do? Yet with the root armor, I survived a whole series of his attacks. He jumped off of me, and I still had health. To give you some context, here it is with the full carapace armor. You can see my health ticking down as the tick munches down on me. It is possible to die, but in general, full carapace armor gives you pretty good protection, as you can see. Watch what happens if I replace this level 4 carapace breastplate with this level 1 root chest piece. We're going to change it, and now look at the damage. It's so little, it barely even does enough to pass my healing. That's how powerful the root chest is in Valheim. It remains viable all the way until the Mistlands. So many enemies that will kill you do pierce damage in Valheim, making this single chest piece arguably the best piece of equipment that you'll get in your entire playthrough. Ask yourself this, which are you going to use more? Gear you get at the very end of the game, or gear you get in the swamp? This video has been entirely focused on the root chest piece. I will mention the mask because it's resistant versus poison, and that can be useful, and especially if you combine this with mead, then poison becomes negligible. Anyway, that's it for now. If you appreciate this video and you want me to make more videos, well, just subscribe and keep watching because I'm going to make more videos anyway. I love this so much. But if you want to support my work and uh, inspire me, I guess, then consider purchasing a dedicated Valheim server for you and your friends to play on. You can follow my tutorial all about setting it up. It's really quick. It's around $15 to $20 a month. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to comment below with something that you'd like me to make a tutorial about, and I'll see you next time. Bye!